Hello, hello, and welcome to another video in my basic build series. I'm your host, Blinz. Let's get started. Today, we're going to do an iron farm for the new 1.14 update. That We are on uh, 1.14 pre-release number two. So that means the actual uh, update's coming up pretty soon. And they changed all of the village mechanics and the iron galling spawning mechanics, so we have to redo all iron farms, unfortunately. But this one seems to be working fairly decently. It's not the most efficient farm, but it is pretty simple to build. Um, I'm going to uh, start building it pretty soon, but actually at the very beginning of the next part of the video I put all the items that you need, but that was before I added this part on there because some iron golems spawn when they're waking up in the morning and there was no place for them to go, so uh, you're going to add a few more a few more items in the chest that I'm going to show you. Alright, let's get started. Alright, in order to build this you're going to need these items right here. I'll let pause on there so you can take a look at it. You're going to need several stacks of uh, slab, whatever whatever kind you want. I prefer using... Uh, something that won't burn like stone is pretty good um, I'm using smooth stone so you can see the the counts I'm doing a little bit easier um, you're gonna need all this stuff here you're gonna need the total of 10 water buckets and you're gonna need 48 beds alright so go ahead and get all those supplies together then we'll get started oh and uh, 48 villagers so you might want to build a uh, village spawner somewhere close up above it alright first thing you want to do is find a spot you're gonna need about a 35 by 35 by 35 cube so basically a little more than four chunks. Actually, you can probably fit it all in four chunks. I think it's 32 high total. So you want to find your spot. You put down a couple of chests, and then behind there, you're going to put a four by four area of hoppers leading into the chest. So four on each side. Four on each one of those. Just like that. You're going to go around it. You're going to build all the way around on the floor. Just like this. Just straight all the way around. All right. Then on top of this, you're going to go up one more level. And another one. You're going to need to put some glass in there. I'd leave yourself a little way out too, maybe a little hole like that. That way when you are done, you can just jump down here and then jump right on out without getting hurt. Total of four high, or I'm sorry, three high right there on the sides. So it's four total from the bottom. All right, when you're done with it, you're going to look like this with a little hole to get yourself out later. Then you're going to take your temporary block, and then it's easier to build up this way. You go up three. So right there, you're going to come out seven more blocks on each one of these sides. So just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to basically do seven all the way on all these here. All right, so it's going to look like this. You have a total of eight blocks from here all the way out, and you're going to do it on each corner just like this, so straight out from the side. All right, when you get done with it, it's going to look a lot like that, so eight out on each side there. It's a good idea probably to start lighting up underneath your farm here just so a bunch of mobs don't start spawning, so when you jump back down, you don't get killed by a creeper or something like that, because, you know, knowing me, I would definitely get murdered by a creeper doing this. All right, once you're done lighting that up, you're going to do a diagonal all the way across here. So an easy way to do it is just fill in, just skip the first one on each time you get to the end there. Like this. That way it gives you a nice diamond shape like that. So just do this on all four corners. When you get it done, it's going to look a lot like that right there. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go up another full block and then out one. Get rid of that one. Black, that's a temporary block. And you're going to go out three blocks total. So you're going to have three more just like that, and then you're just going to copy it all the way around. It's just exactly like this. All right, so it's going to look like that when you're done with it. Then you're just going to do a diagonal just like you did here. So you're going to see how there's a hole there. So you're going to want to fill that hole up and then just do a diagonal all the way across. Another easy way to do it is just start here. Oops. Just go start in one, and then go one, two, three. Start in one, one, two, three. That way it's easier to do that on survival like that, I would say. Okay, when you're done with that, it's going to look like this. All right, and then on top of here, you're going to get your solid block. You're going to make a temporary one there, and then you're going to go all the way around the edge, all the way around. Just follow it completely. All right, when you get done, it's going to look like that, and then you're going to want to make sure that you're doing an extra row, back six on each side. It's going to be too deep all the way around. All right, so when you get done, it's going to look a lot like that, a nice diamond shape. And then one thing you're going to want to do is get yourself an uh, infinite water source. So with your temporary blocks, just fill this in real quick. That way you also won't fall down while you're making this and kill yourself. We're going to do it right. You're going to want to make just three, sorry, a two-by-two two area in the middle where you can make 
um, an infinite water source by putting one bucket of water there and one bucket of water on that corner. That creates an infinite source. You can always just come back and get more water whenever you need it. And then what you're going to do, this is the hard part. If you mess this up, you're going to start all over from this part again. But you're going to want to put water on each one of these blocks here. Don't put one on the back side, but only put it on the front. Get to the corner, only put it on the one that's in the middle there. You do this all the way around. All right. When you get done, it'll look like this. And then what you can do is get rid of this block. Just go all the way around. Don't accidentally get one of these blocks because it's going to knock all the water off and it's just going to screw your whole thing up and you'll have to start this whole thing over again. So only take off the back block. Alright, when you get done you can see that using the water mechanics the water is going to only go off to the one side. It's just the way you can trick the water just to go that way and that way nothing's going to spawn here. So you don't have to worry about any creepers or anything except for right in the middle here you probably should put down, uh, let's see, at least one torch on here just so nothing spawns right in the middle there. That should cover it. Alright. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take your uh, temporary block again, and you've got level 1 here, so 2, 3, 4. You're going to go up one more with whatever uh, workstation you want to use. I'm going to use the smithing table just because I like the way that looks. And for the smithing table, you're going to copy this design with the uh, dirt block down there all the way around. So you're going to do a 4x4 four four area with a hole in the middle there. Just like that. Alright. Then from here, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to go up one more level. Two, three, four. All the way around, just like that. So right there, you've got your seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got 24 tables, or, uh, working tables, workstations right there already. So that's half of the ones that you're going to use for the entire thing. So on the top of this one here, you're going to go all the way around. This is going to be your bottom spawn layer for your iron golems right there. So you want to do the exact same thing that you did here. You're going to go out seven from this spot all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're just going to copy this this entire thing. So when you get done, it's going to look just like that. You're going to have six on each of these sides, and it's going to be eight wide. All right, and then you're going to do a diagonal just like you did last time. When you get done, it's going to look like this. All right, taking your workstation, go up two more. All right, so you're going to have a total of 48 uh, workstations when you go all the way around. So it's going to be just up like that. Now your next uh, spawn station is going to be top of this block here. So that's where your second iron doll is going to go. So what you need to do is make sure that the top of this one is where the villagers' heads are going to be. So at this level right here, this one here, is where the slime blocks are going to go. This is going to prevent your villagers from falling down all the way. So you're going to get your slime blocks. I'm going to grab some real quick. Just going to need four of them. Put it right here. That way when they fall into this thing, they just bounce and they don't take any damage at all. Now we have four layers of the workstation. So one on the bottom here, two, three, and four. That's all 48 that you need. This one I like to do in glass. So glass all the way around. But you can kind of see what's going on in there. You can watch your... So they'll just bounce up and down when they fall in. And then you're going to do the exact same thing you did around here. So you're going to put a, a perimeter around the top here of slabs. Just like that, you're going to go out eight more. And if you want to, it might be easiest just to start putting your water in. So don't put your water on the slab with uh, 1.13 came out. If you put water on that one, water is just going to dump straight out of the bottom. Let me show you real quick. Put water here. Instead of being on the top, it's just going to come out of the bottom. So if you do that, you actually have to break that block and close it off, or you can use a, uh, um, an empty water bucket to get your water back. But it also just screwed this thing up right here. So what you want to do is take your water, and you're going to just aim it at the back of this block, and then you're going to do your infinite water source again, and just go all the way around each four of these. That should make it so the water runs right to the edge on every single one and doesn't spill over to the side. Just like that. So you're going to do the exact same thing on here. Do another row up just so I can see where this column is. Makes it a little easier to build the rest of it around it. Alright, do your slabs all the way around. And when you get done, it's going to look like this. Alright, and then here you're going to go up with your glass. So you got level 1, 2, 3, 4. This is where another layer of, um, a, not really a full layer, but just a few more blocks are going to go. You're going to do uh, your glass all the way up to here like that. What you're going to do, sorry, what you're going to do is uh, do 
one section with two wide right here. Doesn't matter which side, whichever side you want it. You're going to put a couple of dispensers here. Before we do that, we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen slabs, just like that. So when you get that, it's going to look like this. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, and then 1. So it's going to come in right there. What you want to do is you're going to put an observer facing this way, right there. So the redstone signal comes this way. You're going to put your two dispensers. Don't put anything in them yet. You're going to get your redstone lamp and put it right there. You're going to put 11 uh, redstone dust. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's going to leave you right there. Get the uh, daylight sensor. Or daylight detector, I guess it's called. Put one there, and then put a comparator facing that way. All right, so you can see that that's lit up right now. So what you want to do is turn that to the night. So you see how it's uh, one color there, like the daytime sensor, and then it's a nighttime sensor right there. During the day, you want it to be with no water on. So this is the perfect time. To put in a couple of buckets of water. So let me get those real quick. And as soon as it turns to night, you're going to see that those water buckets are going to come out and get dispensed out, and it's going to put all of your villagers are going to shoot back up into the into the rest of the system here. All right, so let's get building the rest of it real quick. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to take your glowstone, if you choose to use that, put it one on each of these corners here. That's going to light up your farm so nothing spawns inside here. Then, actually, I guess you can do your water down here. I forgot to do that part. Let's get some water going in there real quick. Oh, there, it just turned to not quite full daylight, so the water turned on there. Perfect timing. So same as below, you're going to put your water around the sides. Alright, that should work just like the bottom one did. Perfect. Now nothing's going to be able to spawn on there except for iron golems. Alright, so you put your uh, glowstone up there. You're going to want to get your signs. Alright, on each one of these, above the glass here, I'm going to put a sign. So one there, there there, there, this way, put them on the rest of the sides. That should be every single one of them. Alright, every single one of them has signs above the glass. Alright, when you get all your signs on, you're going to get your glass, and you're going to go on one of your redstones here, and you're going to go out seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to connect them here. One, two, three. You're going to go out a total of nine more blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do the nine again. I'm gonna do a six here, so it's gonna look like that. So you're gonna have a total of seven blocks on these outside ones, and then three more out going this way. You can do that on each side. All right, when you get done, it's gonna look like this. All right, so this is where your beds are gonna go. So you're gonna want to get your beds. It's 48, so you're gonna pretty much fill your inventory up with them. You're gonna put a bed on each one of these blocks, but only six. You're gonna skip this one in the corner here. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. All right, that way you can see you go on this side here, you're not going to cover up your daylight sensor. So you got six beds, your daylight sensor is right there. All right. It's all the way around. All right, when you're done with that, it's going to look like this. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to put in your other uh, observers and dispensers to put the water in up this part. So you're going to get all your equipment back out that. I don't need that. I need an observer dispenser and stone lamp and a daylight sensor. That's what I was missing. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to come back here and then you're going to go to your last bed. You're going to go out one. You're going to put your observer facing this way. Top here, right behind there, you're going to put your redstone lamp. And on this side, you're going to put the daylight detector. Here, you're going to put two dispensers. Don't put your water in yet. That on each side. To get done, it's going to look like this. All right, so now, and it's uh, daytime, it's going to be lit up like that. So at night, you don't want water, so this is a good time to put your water in when it's at night. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're going to put a temporary block, temporary block on top of one of your dispensers. You'll put two glowstone on top of there, or any other lighting source you want to do. You can use uh, sea lanterns, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you're going to put glass all the way back this way all the way over until you get to the top of the other dispensers. So I'm a little too far. 
you're going to put two more glowstone so it lights this whole area up. So now this side's lit up, the middle's lit up, and that side's lit up. Do the same thing on the other two sides. All right, that is lit up all the way now. Now what you need to do is get your slabs now on the bottom of your thing here. Actually, before you do that, find where your daylight sensor is, which is right here. So each one of these you're just going to cover in glass. You don't want that to be covered up at all. That has to be light there. All right, so you're going to do that. Each one of these glass pieces on the side are going to come up with three more. All right, so your top is a little hard to see in the glass, but it's going to look like that. And you're going to get your slabs. You're going to go to the bottom of each one of these layers here of glass, and you're going to put a, come out two. It's going to cover the beds up with half slabs. That way, when they can still sleep in here, but when they uh, the villagers wake up, they can't stand on the bed. They have to go in this little uh, walkway here where that water is going to turn on and push them down. It's going to do this all the way around. Get that corner one, two. All right, now that you've got everything built, it's time to get your villagers in there. So if you put your spawn, uh, your villager spawner up above there, you can start dropping 48 villagers in there. If I'm in creative, I'm just going to start dropping them in there. So one, two, three, four. All right, that is 48 of them right there. All righty, now they're just going to hang out down there. You can hear them working on their little uh, workbenches over there. Their farm is done. All you got to do is get rid of some of these temporary blocks, blocks here. I'm going to fill up this water source so I don't have that anymore. Get rid of that. All right, so when you get down here, this is where you're going to start putting in your... Get out of here, zombie. You're going to start putting in your signs real quick and your lava. So let's get those real quick. Signs. Lava. All right. So do this quickly. you got to crouch. Attach them to the other signs. So you're going to have a total of 16 signs in here, one above each hopper. This part you got to be pretty quick, so you want to stand inside this little glass area. Don't move because you got to get out of there real fast and then put your glass in, so make sure you have glass in your hand. Put a lava in that corner and a lava in this corner, and then get out, put your glass down. That way it's going to cause a lava blade, so all of your, uh, your uh, iron golems that spawn will fall down here and get killed. That way you can start getting iron and some poppies at while you're at it. Alright, I am recording this a little bit out of order because after I recorded everything, I decided that there was one more thing I needed to add on here just to make it work a little better. So when the villagers wake up, they want to start spawning a golem right away. And, uh, do I have an extra villager in here? There's a guy standing in the middle. And an empty bed right there. He's just not going to it. Alright, that's going to happen. I think there's some, something wrong with the uh, villager AI. Anyway, you want to go down here. So underneath your bed, you're going to do five pieces of glass. Then on one of the bottom ones, you're going to put a middle here. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, they're not going to wake up yet. Anyway, so in the middle, you're going to do three across, and then two out, and then three out, four out. So that's going to line up perfectly with these right here. So you're going to put on the uh, top layer here just to make it so the water doesn't come off the edge. And then you're going to put signs. You're going to come down here. You're going to put one on each end here. You're going to stand on top of them and put another sign by crouching on top of that one. That way you can put water in there and it won't fall off the edge. And you don't have to have it, you know, eight long in order for the water to, to not go off the edge. And that way when you put water there, when they wake up and they want to spawn a golem, they can land on these. Or they have a spot right here where they can spawn and then they just fall off and they go straight down the bottom like your other ones. So I'm going to do that on all four sides. I've got three already. It's going to look like this. I just got to finish the other one real quick. And then I'm going to see how it works when they all wake up here in just a second. I haven't actually tested this yet. All right, one thing I forgot to mention is you want to put a, one of these on top here just so when the golems spawn on there, they can't just climb out real quick. Um, I haven't had one spawn up here yet, but when I made a previous version of it, these were solid blocks and they were spawning on top here. So I figured it would be a good idea to put something here just in case so it's a little bit more efficient. And I've been sitting here for a little bit. I've only had a couple of golems spawn so far. But yeah, it is working. Alright, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment of any other builds you'd like to see. See you later.